Look like I'm ashy. I hold it. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Y'all see I got my apron on and y'all see Pretty Ricky in the back. We are doing embroidery today and you guys, this came out so great. Let me show y'all real quick. Kitchen Queen. This came out absolutely amazing. These are going to be hits for Mother's Day, Father's Day, even Easter. Y'all know y'all love a good meal. So during these holidays that's coming up, aprons are going to be it. Okay, I got this from Heat Transfer Warehouse and it's actually a sublimation apron. So it's more spots on here where I may sublimate on as well. So, I could even sublimate on the top. I could have brought it up a little bit more, but I wasn't sure, so I just wanted it to be safe. So, you'll see the full body of it, but it turned out absolutely amazing. My Racoma EM1010 did the thing. The image is from Prada Fabrica. I'll show you that. Flower Embroidery, that's her name. She is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, I went to her page. These designs are the bomb. And you're going to see how this one turned out. So dope. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. But let me just let you know how these can be money makers. We talked about the holidays that are coming up. I want you to grab your aprons from Heat Transfer Warehouse. You can use my link down in the description and get you a Racoma EM1010. You can use my link down in the description and get to practicing okay so like i said mother's day for your mother your grandmother your aunt your best friend anyone that loves to cook in the kitchen anyone that loves to barbecue on the grill for father's day your uncle your grandpa your papa whatever you want to call them your husband your bae your boo these will be great people love customized items especially for the holidays make them fancy put their favorite sports team on there a favorite saying on there whatever it is that'll make them smile these will be amazing sellers okay absolutely amazing so we are going to embroider on here when i say this came out so good i'm so proud of myself i'm getting so good with this Recoma em 1010 y'all i'm very proud of myself we had no hiccups or nothing okay it went so smooth like butter so we're going to go ahead and i'm going to show you how i did this with all the materials etc but think about these for great sellers for the holidays that's coming up I'm telling you, y'all. Y'all trying to turn, y'all trying to take this crafting into profit. Y'all trying to make some money, some coins. You guys want to sell them. Do you know when I posted this on social media, how many people inquired about embroidery? I'm telling you, embroidery is an art form, okay? It's absolutely amazing. The quality is, okay? It's absolutely bomb. So, if you guys were interested in getting an embroidery machine, make sure you all check out my link down below. Call them. Contact them. Use my link down below. Inquire about it. We always have so many different deals and things that are going on. So check it out. But let's just jump right into the video. Let go. All right, guys. I have my Hoop Master stand because this just makes everything so much easier. I have my apron. And I got this from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Let me get it so y'all can see it. Because we're going to put it down. We're going to put it, the design down here. And this is actually a sublimation apron. So you could put someone's name or something else up at the top. Or you can embroider something else at the top if you like. This is going to go down here though. Alright. And then, of course, we have Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky, my EM1010 is so ready to get this started. And I'm just so excited. So let's go ahead and get it going. I do have my cutaway stabilizer. So I will be using my cutaway stabilizer today. My 8 by 13 Mighty Hoop is 8 by 13. That's the size I'm using today. And let's go ahead and get this popping. 
Okay, so I have my stabilizer, my cutaway stabilizer, and you have to make sure that it's larger than the hoop. And then these will slap it down when it needs to be held down, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to line this up. Look like I'm ashy. I hold it. So now we're going to just get it to where I want it to go. And it's going to be here. So I'm going to grab <laughs> my mighty hoop and literally just slide it on. I always make sure that this is nice and tight. But that was super easy. And like I said, you could put designs down here. You could put the name up here. You can do whatever you want with it, but this design is gonna go right here, okay? So we are actually all set. I didn't even have to flip this down, even though technically I flipped those down. But it is what it is. It's on there and it's on there really tight. You always want it on there tight. You see that? The tighter, the better. And then you have some excess. So you can make sure you have enough to hold it stable and in place. But this is how you know when it's tight and good. Okay? So we're going to take it on over to Pretty Ricky. All right. So you want to make sure everything is all set up. I'm going to go ahead, make sure everything is correct. I'm going to go ahead and slide this in and it's nice and it's nice and tight okay so once that's set let's go ahead and go over to our screen all right so now we have this is the hoop this is the image is direct in the center that's perfectly fine and what we want to do is go to our colors I think I want to make this purple and pink pink and gold might be cute though Ooh. oh goodness I don't know I use this pink so much but y'all know pink my favorite color so we gonna do pink and gold okay so six is pink and Eight is gold. The problem is we don't know which colors. I don't know why Creative Fabrica doesn't show you that, but we're going to select those two colors. Let's go ahead, put it in embroidery status, and let's trace it. Okay, we traced it, and then we're going to trace it again. It's way more than enough space. All right, so it's all set. It's in um, embroidery status, and we could go ahead and press start. Let's cross our fingers.
So I tried to mute it, but some people said they like the way it sounds. I personally like the way it sounds as well. So I just put a little bit of sound, a little razzle-dazzle every once in a while. This design turned out so cute. Look how cute this is. Like, look how smooth and easy that is going. I don't know about you, but this embroidery machine, the way it sounds, the way it moves, just watching it is so therapeutic for me. I don't know. I just love everything when it comes to crafting, especially when I'm in like the mood. But this, like I said, is really smooth. It's really easy. The design was great. So shout out to the designer, Creative Fabrica. Um, everything just was smooth with this. And I just love my pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky don't be giving me too many problems. So now it's doing the whisk. That's the last part. And look how sweet that looks. Oh, that looks so sweet. I also love how on the screen it shows you exactly where it's actually threading. I think that is so dope as well. So, yeah. And it's done, y'all. This is so cute. Oh, we... Y'all, do y'all see how cute this is? I love it, baby. Oh my goodness. I am literally so in love with this. Let me get it out, clip it, clean it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. This actually could have went up some if I wanted to. And it could have even went all the way up there, honestly. But I just wanted to be clear. Y'all know I ain't got time for no needles or nothing breaking. This looks so cute. So now here's time to clean up. So when we clean up, we just make sure everything, see that? Super easy. This is so cute. And it kind of little like puff a little 3D on there. You just want to clean up any stitches. This came out so good. I didn't have one problem with this. Nothing stopped. Nothing messed up. I am so proud of this it came out super good super clean yeah i'm gonna have to shout out this creative fabrica person again because this looks good and y'all see how it's kind of like 3d ish it's dope let me get the light closer can y'all see that yeah that's super good y'all okay so once we have that, we go ahead and don't look at my nails, y'all. <laughs> we go ahead and take it off. All right, now that's off. I see that. Ooh, baby, that looks so pretty. Oh, I love when I do good with that. Yes, sir. So good. And then we cut this off. Now you want to be careful with this because you could use this again. And you don't want to do so good. And then you cut the fabric or something. So depending on how big it is, you might be able to use some of this again. It all just depends. But you clean it all up. And there you have it. And you could cut, clean it all up, save that for later. And look how adorable it is. This came out way better than I even expected. And those are my favorite projects. When they come out better than you even expected. So cute. Yay! We did it. We did it, y'all. Do you see how good this turned out? Super duper proud of myself. Absolutely love it. I gave some of the tips already in the beginning, but Reach out to me if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Holla at your girl. If you have not already, please join our Facebook group, Crafty Queen Dreamer. We love it over 
it there? Follow me on Instagram, Do Dream One is the handle. TikTok, Do Dream One is the handle. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Okay, y'all, here are our dreamer comment shout outs. Excelsior said, such a good teacher. Can't wait to connect and learn more. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Anna said, thank you so much for this video. It gave me the exact information I needed. You're welcome, Anna. I'm so happy I could help. Hair Expectations said, I love Bella Canvas. You are right. They are super soft. I mean, like the softest. Okay, period. <laughs> Amy said, awesome, sis. You made mama proud plus us. Aw, thank you, Amy. That is so sweet. Thank you all for commenting. I appreciate you guys.